Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Today we've got illustrative math, grade eight, unit number five, lesson one, practice problems. Number one here says, given the rule, divide by four, then add two. Complete the table for the function rule for the following input values. So, what are we gonna have to do here? Well, zero divided by four is zero, plus two is two. Divide by four and then add two would two. Two divided by four is a half. Plus two is two and a half. 4 divided by 4 is 1, plus 2 is 3. 6 divided by 4 is 1 and a half, plus 2 is 3 and a half. Ooh, I'm starting to see a pattern. 8 divided by 4 is 2, plus 2 is 4. 10 divided by four is two and a half, plus two is four and a half. Here's an input output rule. Complete the table, write one if the input is odd, write zero if the input is even. Odd, even, Odd, even, odd, even, odd. Yay! Andre's school orders some new supplies for the chemistry lab. The online store shows a pack of 10 test tubes costs four dollars less than a set of nested beakers. In order to fully equip the lab, the school orders 12 sets of beakers and eight packs of test tubes. Write an equation that shows the cost of a pack of test tubes in terms of the cost of a set of beakers. So, test tubes T in terms of B so test tubes are four dollars less than beakers so beakers minus four the school office receives a bill for the supplies in the amount of 348 dollars so if T is the cost of test tubes, B is the cost of beakers. We know we bought 12 sets of beakers. And we bought eight packs of test tubes and we spent $348. Ooh, kind of looks like we've got two equations now. Since T is in terms of B from the first equation, this expression can be substituted into the second equation where t appears. Write an equation that shows this substitution. So t equals this stuff, so we're gonna put that stuff into this t. So 12b plus 8t, but we're not gonna use t. We're going to use b minus four equals $348. Now, part D says solve this equation. Not a lot of space over there. Let me move that over a little bit. 12B plus, now I'll distribute, eight times B is eight B 
8 times 4 is 32, so subtract 32 equals 348. 12b plus 8b is 20b minus 32 equals 348. Add 32 to each side. Those cancel. 20b equals 48. 380. Now divide each side by 20. B equals 380 divided by 20. We could simplify that to 38 over 2. What's half of 38? 19. So B equals 19. Are we done? work better. B equals 19. How much did the school pay for a pack of beakers? Well, beakers were $19. How much did the school pay for a pack of test tubes? Sorry, this thing seems to be bugging out a little bit today. Well, test tubes Test tubes equal B, which is 19 minus 4. So T equals 15. So test tubes are $15. Ooh, equations to solve. I love to solve equations. Hey, it's what we were just doing. Only this time, we have y equals this stuff, y equals this stuff. We can set those two equal to each other. x minus 4 equals 6x minus 10. Get all the x's on one side. There's more x's on the right, so let's get rid of them from the left. Those will cancel. Negative 4 equals 6x subtract x is 5x minus 10. Now, to get the x's by themselves, we've got to get rid of the constants. So I'm going to add 10, do it to one side, do it to the other. Those go away. Negative 4 plus 10 is 6 equals 5x. Divide by 5, divide by 5. x equals 6 fifths. Now, we know x. We have to figure out y. So I'm going to plug this back in. y equals x, which is 6 fifths, minus 4. So y equals 6 fifths minus 4 is, that's 1 and a fifth. So 2 and 4 fifths. Which means our solution should be x value of 6 fifths, y value of 2 and 4 fifths. That is our last problem for this one. This has been another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Thanks for watching. See you next time.